Last month, Reservation Dogs received four Emmy nominations, the first and last nominations of the show's three-year run on FX on Hulu. I spoke with show creator Sterling Harjo about the incredible run of the series, the honors it's up for, and what's next. First off, congratulations on uh, the Emmy nominations. Thank you. Um, of course, you guys, you know, a couple years went by for whatever reason. Uh, there were no Emmy nominations. You got nominated for some other awards. Obviously, it's, it's not why you do what you do, but kind of talk about getting accolades like that and the fact that you finally got some Emmy nominations. Yeah, I mean, it's very, um, you know, it's obviously a good thing, and I'm very excited. Um, I've never been nominated for an Emmy, which is cool. Like, the show is nominated for an Emmy, DeFerro, lots of, we have four nominations, one for cinematography. And it's just, you know, it's great to, amongst peers, get the show recognition. It deserved it. Everyone knows it deserved it. But again, like you said, it's not why I do it. I was excited to hear that it happened. I was kind of surprised because I didn't think we'd get nominated again. But also, I don't think people realize I'm so, I'm still in shock that the show happened. So the fact that I was able to make this show has always been the best, you know, award for me. Kind of encapsulate, you know, the last few years that you've worked on this show and what that experience has been like. You know, it was one of the more beautiful things I've ever experienced because we created a family and a community and we made, you know, everyone poured their heart and soul into this story. And I'm proud of the work that we did. And we, you know, it changed things culturally. I, I, I think that people would be very lucky to have to be doing something that you know is changing culture as you're doing it. I think that's very rare. And we had the blessing of being able to see it happening in real time around us while we were making the show. You mentioned the, the cultural changes. Obviously, we're in a time where it seems like authentic indigenous representation on the big and small screen are growing. What does it mean to you to kind of be a part of that growth? It's really great. I mean, you know, there's a handful of filmmakers out there that are making that happen and pushing for even more authentic voices to be supported. And that's what the key is, you know. The um, We try and give people the voice to tell their own story, and that's when you get authentic experiences. If not, you get the Tulsa King that's shooting in Atlanta. And so, you know, if you give people the opportunity to tell their stories, it's going to show, and it's going to pay off. I think that, you know, indigenous storytelling it's been a long time coming i mean it's it's kind of crazy that we're in 2024 talking about this right now but you know i, I think that it's only going to get better and of course res dogs ended after three seasons you said it was the right time to end the story how hard was that for you to end it after three seasons I mean, it was definitely a decision. It wasn't easy, but it all at the same time, I didn't agonize over it. You know, as soon as that, because as soon as I thought this feels like the end, and I ran that by a couple of people, and they also agreed, and I knew I wasn't crazy, then it was like we have to embrace this and really stick the landing. And you know, because of that, it wasn't time to agonize over it. We had to just make the best show ending that we could. The sensitive kind uh, pilot, uh, you guys kind of wrapped on that just a few months ago. What was that like having Ethan Hawke back here in town with just a, an unbelievable cast uh, for that yeah. pilot? It was a pretty, it was a dream cast. You know, I was very excited to be able to work with all those actors. Uh, and it was an amazing experience. And, you know, it was mostly Res Dog's crew. So it was like family coming back together again, missing some of the actors. But, you know, even in the pilot, there's a nice Easter egg of a cameo in there that everybody will get to see hopefully when this show gets made someday. <laughs> Easter egg of a cameo. I wonder what he's talking about. Hmm. Hmm. Stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. Watch it when it comes out. And That'll be fun to, to see. see. Mm -hmm.